Thank you, everyone. I'm uh, uh, Marco Mambelli from Fermilab, and I'm technical lead for uh, Gliding WMS and Tap Cloud uh, projects. I'm here uh, to present actually the work of a, a big uh, team of people collaborating the project. So uh, big thanks to Brandon, Bruno, uh, Hanwu, Kyle, Lisa, Patrick, Tria, Steve, Vito, and uh, Andrew. And uh, uh, let's get into the uh, work. So first, uh, you know that um, to go from an experiment to the actual plots, or even before to plan the experiments, a lot of computing is involved and a little bit of uh, nice history pictures. So at the beginning, there were some dedicated uh, machine rooms. Then they were not enough. We went to computer center with clusters. Then we started uh, sharing resources uh, across different places. And uh, up to here, things were in different places, but uh, a part of the thing that worked uh, fairly well for the submit infrastructure is this distributed computing. So all these resources are uh, dedicated for experiments with similar uh, requirements. So uh, they, they are shared, but uh, they all can run easily a lot of uh, uh, small uh, jobs on, on kind of uh, Linux machines, basically. And uh, we uh, have been using, you have know, heard of, uh, already about the Gliding WMS, so this pilot-based uh, and pressure-based system. So pilots go into the system, or reserve the node for a little bit, sending pilots everywhere and maintaining pressures allows you to use all the resources efficiently. And, uh, and this is uh, uh, like a schema of Gliding WMS that we have heard already, and Condor is involved a lot in it. So basically what uh, Gliding WMS does is creating a virtual cluster starting start these uh, everywhere on the resources. And you have people from different uh, submit nodes that they can use uh, these virtual uh, clusters. So problem became more complex using uh, clouds and supercomputers to use these uh, uh, models uh, with the pilot base and pressure. First, because clouds are on demand. So you can send as many pilots as they want, they will run it, just charge you more for it. So maintaining cost and pressure doesn't work anymore. And you have to take into account budget and uh, cost optimization. So try to reduce uh, the cost. Supercomputers uh, have allocation. So even though you're not allowed to use all the resources, you have to book them in advance. Or each of them is one of a kind with its own peculiarity to make uh, things work. Built for specific scopes, sometimes not really ideal for uh, HCC style uh, jobs. So uh, we are proposing this new uh, system, HEP Cloud, that is built on existing technology. So it's built on uh, Gliding WMS and Condor uh, with a lot of things. Um, it's a portal, so uh, you can use to run uh, uh, jobs on different resource and take care of, of uh, job routing and resource provisioning. It's also a software, uh, the specific part, that decision engine, that box there, which can implement also uh, business rules, for example, optimizing uh, the cost when you run uh, uh, on, when you bid on uh, AWS for resources for, or, and create this uh, figure of merit that's a um, uh, multidimensional optimization that take care of where it's better to run or reserve resources. And then the, 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 the facility, right, helps also the different experiments to onboard on different resources and deal with the heterogeneity with it. Uh, so here you can see that, uh, so we use uh, Condor still to uh, submit and run the jobs everywhere, sometimes directly without using uh, gliding pilots, sometimes using pilots with the classic gliding WMS uh, system. There the provision one is a gliding WMS factory. And uh, uh, sometimes trying to go in new uh, uh, computing resources, you hear later about uh, efforts with uh, Theta. Uh, has been running already in uh, uh, production for, for a while. And in, uh, uh, for example, we have been able to leverage uh, for CMS uh, um, the amount of resources comparable to what it was running on the tier one and, and use all the allocation that we got on, on different uh, resources. And it's working fine also with more uh, uh, workloads that are more intermittent, like uh, Dune on uh, Moon G minus two have more bursts of uh, use and still was able to uh, run them. And uh, uh, to about onboarding, uh, we uh, 
have been helping to run on sites, uh, like for example, sites with no network connectivity, like uh, uh, Theta at uh, Argon. And you'll hear of, uh, Maria uh, talking later about uh, uh, that effort. Or heterogeneous sites where uh, there are nodes with different uh, capabilities with more CPUs, GPUs, or large memory. And we are um, onboarding now a uh, nurse curve matter and uh, for you, Andrew. So, what provides here HEP Cloud is a single uniform access to all resources. So, different experience on tap to learn about all this HPC expertise to help people to run there and, and solutions to resource uh, constraints so that the workflow of the experiments can still work there. Uh, other activities have been a collaboration with uh, MIT to um, run an inference server uh, testing on Google uh, Cloud. Uh, this uh, had uh, uh, some uh, uh, FPGA nodes that were running uh, part of the workflow that was on, uh, um, on the cloud. And uh, um, test with uh, Rigetti Computer. This is a public company uh, building uh, superconducting quantum processors. So they have this uh, uh, Aspen 10 32 uh, qubits QPU and that they make uh, available. And um, we have been running uh, jobs on, uh, um, on the cloud in AWS, uh, running uh, quantum applications on these uh, uh, QPUs on demand. And we are collaborating also with uh, uh, Radical Cyber Cruise to uh, experiment support with uh, more HPC resources and uh, run uh, uh, MPI parallel or heterogeneous workflow and try to expand uh, the users. So the decision engine that's the software uh, that uh, we added has a set of uh, sources that are uh, sensing what's uh, outside. So the, the grid, the, the status of the virtual clusters, the requests, and uh, the core is our decision channel that they transform this data and use a uh, rule-based uh, logic engine to uh, make a decision and publish it out to a monitoring or to provisioners like the uh, Glady WMS factory or, or other systems that have to uh, allocate resources. Uh, we have uh, decided to uh, run things also uh, Increase a little bit testing. So we have a, a integration test with a simple uh, configuration and running job. So our previous production of Fermilab actually required a lot of uh, tweaking and hands-on work from uh, from Steve, Tim, our, our uh, local um, administrators that uh, did a lot of optimizations. So this, uh, uh, the idea was to make available the software for everyone to test and use. So this configuration. Uh, it's a, a standard can be easily installed and recreated by everyone. The, so the challenges that we uh, are encountered and where we uh, will um, like also um, part uh, Condor team helps to help resolving. One is uh, we are starting to, uh, we had requests to run uh, uh, parallel MPI jobs. So uh, Astrophysics group especially want to run those. And we uh, evaluate a little bit the Condor parallel universe that requires dedicated resources and uh, Condor on, on both sides. And a lot of time we run on clusters that uh, do not have Condor, they have Lorma, whatever the local HPC has installed. And um, so we are, have to try to um, see how to run parallel jobs there. And uh, to expand uh, HPC support, uh, again, you'll hear more from uh, uh, talk later. Uh, nodes that have limited network connectivity, uh, there are some initial uh, solutions like uh, Split Starter and, and Lumberjack from Condor, but they will require um, additional uh, changes, especially in, in helping in moving files uh, around. Uh, credential renewal is also been something that uh, moving to token has been uh, uh, pressing. So how to handle that. And uh, um, reserving uh, jobs. So having to deal with different provision and different type of resources, uh, having more flexibility in parking jobs associated and to reserve and, and say that they are available to be uh, scheduled or matched to something else later, uh, that uh, will also be more 
uh, in use. And uh, uh, from our uh, site admin specialist side of uh, Hep Cloud, we have requests to try to uh, maintain more stability uh, with things like uh, uh, Blab. We, we have been using a lot the grid batch uh, system with these uh, resources, uh, with HPC, and uh, changes in the um, incompatibility in how this work and between versions have been making a little bit uh, uh, difficult to adapt. And uh, um, easier uh, to debug HE Condor C uh, configuration. So the configuration sometimes is a little bit uh, cryptic with a lot of uh, escaping and, and, and quotes. So uh, I'd like to uh, end with uh, um, give you some, some links. Uh, so uh, HepCloud is a, a totally open source project on GitHub. We welcome uh, you to check it out and, and collaborate. Uh, RPMs are available. And uh, we have also uh, instructions and uh, especially to reproduce the simple uh, configuration that kind of reproduce the functionality of a standard Gliding WMS uh, system and allows to um, expand from that. So I'd like to thank everyone and uh, open to questions.